And then over to you. Okay, thank you everyone for joining us for this webinar. Uh, essentially, we're going to talk about uh, some innovations around telecom innovation for public health practice. It's a project that we call VG System. VG System means part of uh, the national executive. Let me invite the national president to give us the opening remarks. National president. Thank sir. you very much. Can I permit me to also share my video so that you can see me? Yeah. Uh, those of you who have not seen me since in Lori, I have not changed much. I still play my tennis and I'm keeping fit. Can you hear me? We can yes, hear yes, and we can, can see. see. We expect you the next grand slam. <laughs> Don't worry. During our APHP in, uh, in Port Harcourt, we are going to organize the games. And, uh, and uh, maybe I will fish up if Beto were alive. <laughs> so I want to say a very good evening to all of you, our colleagues, our friends that have joined us in this meeting. I want to thank you all for creating time out of your tight schedule to attend this first series of uh, meetings that have been lined up for telecom innovations for public health practice being a project anchored by Ave Health Sense. Ave Health Sense, I want to inform that is one of the, the youngest and newest uh, partners of APHPN. Uh, but coincidentally, you know, the Bible said it, that the first shall become last and they, uh, they, are, they are the last to come, but we have actually had more interactions with them co as compared to other partners that we have had all these years. You will recall that at the last uh, conference in Ilori, uh, one of our recommendations, if you have gone through the communique we even published, the number four recommendations, recommendation there was that both federal and state ministries of health, uh, as well as other um, uh, agencies, should adopt digitalization of uh, public health interventions to uh, improve efficiency. We are, we are all practicing in Nigeria. We know that there are areas that are difficult to reach, so you might not be able to get there physically, but you can get there digitally. And that is what Abbey Health Sense stands for. Uh, very recently, I also attended the PAC Summit in Abuja. Some of my colleagues are there, our leaders. Professor Najole was there. And uh, the use of technology in PAC system was also re-echoed by the, the agency as part of uh, uh, one of his uh, transformation agenda. And so uh, I, I must say that I'm happy uh, to have been fully engaged in, in this process through AVE, uh, uh, Health Sense and, uh, and for the opportunity that he has given us to, uh, to pilot this uh, uh, innovation, which, which they have Christian the digit uh, system. Uh, they have at, they discussed with the association and they have outlined series of uh, meetings that will be holding in May this, uh, the, uh, this month. And they have also promised me that they are going to give a report of their activities even in the next election. You will all agree with me that AVS Sense have uh, uh, blazed the tree by instituting a grant for a seed money for our conferences. Like any chapter, any branch that is holding a state, uh, our conference, as soon as the program is out and their posters are out, they are going to give them seed money. Before now, we don't give seed money. And that's a very long way for those of us who have uh, organized conferences before. So I cannot but thank Ave Health Sense for this innovation, in addition to what they are contributing. I also want to inform that one of our partners, the ICROC, we very soon, we are at the advanced stage of getting uh, 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 
uh, uh, signing a contract with them to organize a, a study. And that will cover uh, three states in the country, uh, Plateau State, uh, Borono State, and FCT Abuja. We're working on violence, uh, healthcare in danger, violence against healthcare. And you know, in Borono State, because of some areas that may be difficult to reach, what we're going to discuss today is very relevant in terms of reaching those things. And we're also going to engage have a sense. Either as it is, I must want to say that on the, the association is very grateful to have a sense for what they have provided. So far, they have provided since So I want to encourage you all to fully participate in this uh, meeting and ask difficult questions to ensure that we have defeat a very successful pro uh, project and provide leadership in this area. In that note, as the president of the Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria, I declare this meeting open. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, we can now start the representation. Thank you very much for the event open. Let me now give you the slides. Joshua, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Very good to see you. So, Peter, can you open your mic? Peter, Peter, can you mute your, your mic? Please, there's an echo. Let the person mute his mic so that we can hear everybody clearly. Yeah. Okay, can you see my slides? Sorry, Dr. Kenny, as the host, please can you mute um, James Peter to go please? Thank you. Okay, James is muted. I will also mute others. Yakubu should also be muted. Okay, thank you very much. Can you can you see the slides? Yes, we can. Very well, we can see the yes, slides. Yes, we can. Go on. Okay, so Go thank on. you very much. So the project is uh, Telecom Innovations for Public Health Practice. We can see the slide. Go on. Yes, the project is Telecom Innovation for Public Health Practice. Uh, it's a six, six months pilot of the VG system uh, for public health physicians. So essentially, this project is focused. Uh, on uh, public health physicians across the country. It's titled Project 2480. Now, uh, two of us are making the presentation, myself, uh, Dr. Kenneth, and then Joshua Tahule, who is the CEO of uh, Virgin Platform International. He's a telecom expert who also was with us uh, in Lorraine to share some of uh, the things the telecom industry is doing. So I will take the first part of the presentation and then he will take the second part I will now round up. So uh, the first, as part of this project, essentially I'm going to be project manager and uh, uh, principal investigator. So I'll be reporting on a monthly basis to the executive of the association on projects being made. Now, all of us know that the telecom industry has come to stay and it has contributed significantly to grow domestic product. Uh, evidence have shown that during COVID, while every other part, every other industry was going down, uh, the telecom industry was actually booming booming because there was increase in cost, there was also increase in use of data. And that have shown in the figures that have been uh, published uh, in the uh, annual reports of this company. Now, this table shows exactly how much the telecom industry has contributed. The table indicates that revenue increased from 2.5 trillion in the year 2019 uh, to 2.8 trillion as at the end of the year 2020. Uh, now, the first thing that we can think about is, what if 1% of this particular amount of money goes into public health? What if 2% go into the entire health sector? Now, a lot would have been achieved, but this money still circulates around the banks, circulates around the telecom industry, and never comes to where uh, we can take advantage of it. Now, NTM has talked about uh, revenue uh, that is now 1.7 trillion. 
I remember some years back, this was uh, a company, a telecom company that was struggling because of the litigation or other issues they had with government and they had banned. Now, this shows exactly the fact that uh, the increasing circulation of funds within uh, this industry. Uh, ATS has also demonstrated this revenue growth. So essentially, why other sectors are suffering on account of COVID, this sector of uh, the economy is actually doing extremely well. Why? Because funds are circulating within the sector. But this is what happens to us as doctors. Now, as doctors, apart from the fact that funds are not circulating among us, there's so much they're taking away money from us. The first one is bank charges. Now, these days, in addition to all the charges that we receive, either we're depositing, where we draw money or whatever, the use of our structural supplementary service, uh, service uh, data code, which is what we use on a regular basis to transfer money using our phones, also take away a lot of commission. Now, uh, the uh, insurance company takes away a lot of money from us. Uh, Zoom, uh, as we're using Zoom, by the time we're done with this Zoom meeting, most of us will have extended money, we have expended money in terms of use of data. And of course, the person who signed up the Zoom would have also lost funds uh, by this. The social media takes away both our time and money, and the telecom industry is essentially taking away our time and money, and nothing is being returned back to us. Now, someone uh, at one of the functions said that, okay, is it possible for us to tax USSD code so that monies can actually get into, into the industry? Yes, it's possible. But then if we tax the money, we end up with, uh, with, uh, with CBN and getting that money out of the system will be challenging. So this is the question that bothers us for a very long time. Now, the big question that kept agitating our minds uh, in the last 12 months is this innovative financing mechanism. Is it possible that the cash flow that is circulated among uh, the telecom industry, can this telecom digital cash flow circulate among public officials or public practitioners to enhance quality of their work? Now, let's just assume that 1% of all the monies that is circulated within the industry is also circulated among public officials. And when I say circulate, of course, money is currency, it comes to you, you will spend it and it goes to someone else. But if the flow is within that system, the system keep uh, 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 using that, uh, that, uh, uh, those funds. So it is for this reason that Ave Hessence, in partnership with the uh, Virgin Platform International, has come up with a system that will circulate value and create a source of income while taking care of uh, your expenses, whether they are personal expenses or their office expenses. Now, it's important to understand this because whether we like it or not, we expend for money on a daily basis. Our offices also need money on a daily basis. So if we have a system that can circulate funds among us without any restriction, then that can also help us in our, our level of productivity. So what we came up is the, the VG system. The VG system is a three component system. The president spoke about the fact that we are contributing to the multicenter study that is going to be conducted uh, very soon. Now, what, what that means is that we can all be in our locations and then there'll be a design of digital tool for real-time data capturing so that whatever the key performance indicators are will be captured. There was a recent uh, project just rounded up by uh, USAID sponsored, USAID sponsored project called the feed-based monitoring. Now, what a feed-based monitor is an individual who has an app or a device located where he works and live and goes to capture data as at when due and send the data real time. So you don't need to risk your life. If people are living in a particular community, it doesn't matter their literacy level. What it just means is that if you give them a device with uh, key performance indicators, they simply check on the device and the data comes out real time. And these have been tested to be something that can be useful for hard to reach uh, areas where people cannot reach but they are in close communities uh, within those areas that can provide information about uh, the work we do. Now, if we know that as public health physicians, critically, we must do monitor evaluation, we must also do supportive supervision. So developing such data too is what we do at Ave Essence, and uh, we are willing to support organizations to deploy this. The second component is each time you have uh, a project, you are looking at cost recovery. So we'll talk about the virtual top-up automated telecom trading system 
that offers one percent weekly commission for cost recovery. All those most more money that the banks have been collecting uh, from us on a daily basis can be recovered from this just one percent. Now, if it is possible for us to circulate one percent of the banking transactions on a daily basis within public health or even within the general health system, we have funds that will be available for us to work. Now, the third component of the VG system is the advanced combo, uh, combo pack basic for mini audio telehealth. Now, when we connect people with this system, it's possible that we can do supportive supervision using, uh, using communication. We can also do a uh, monitor evaluations. Individuals can have support across board. So essentially, these are the three components of the VG system that we are going to pilot in the next six months. Uh, I will now call on uh, Joshua, who is the main anchor uh, for the telecom component of this project, to now talk to us. So Joshua, over to you. Very good evening, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Kenneth. I think somebody hearing me, let me just see a wave of hand to be sure that they are hearing me. I hear you loud and clear, Joshua. Oh, very good evening, sir. Joshua, well, you are loudly heard and proudly seen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> very good evening, ma. So my name is Joshua, the CEO of Veggie Platform International. We are partners to have a, have a sense. So um, I'm just going to talk about my wallet shop, which is one of the services that we are partnering to make sure that the public health uh, practitioners, they also benefit from the telecom sector. You know, as it was explained before, I don't want to go back to statistics, but let's just take, let's say we have 1 million subscribers. Out of the 150 million subscribers in Nigeria, just 1 million, they decide to recharge their line with a hundred Naira each, maybe in five minutes, or as the case may be, that is 100 million Naira that has been expended. If the same 1 million subscribers decide to recharge with 500 Naira, in one minute, which they do more than that, we're talking about 500 million. And if it is one 1,000 air, air time to recharge, just 1 million subscribers in one minute, that means 1 billion has gone out. So we'll not talk of the higher volume consumers, people like you and I, I'm sure nobody is, um, is in this Zoom using just a 100 megabyte. It must have been from one, one gigabyte and above, which is about 1,000. And before you understand, it's finished. So that's how much money exchange hands within the telecom sector. Every minute as we are talking, out of the 150 million active subscribers, money is going out from everybody's pocket. But very few people are benefiting from this sector. So Virgin Platform International has come up with a, with a concept that, okay, how do people that are patronizing this sector with this huge amount of money that we're always hearing trillion, 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 how do they benefit from it? So we now created this platform that you, the public uh, practitioners, can also be part of it and get a percentage of what goes on here in profit. If you talk about getting 1% of a trillion, you know how much we're talking about. That should be roughly 100 million. So that is being shared. So what is my wallet shop? Well, let's first of all introduce Virgin Platform. Virgin Platform is a registered company in Nigeria here. The CSC, as you can see on the screen, we are licensed by NCC, that's Nigerian Communication Commission. You know the telecom sector is a highly regulated sector. That's why the profit margin is, all, is always very small. So we are also licensed by NCC. We are enterprise part partners to Nine Mobile. You can see our partnership code. There's Nine Mobile. We do most of the major businesses with them, including other telco, but they are the frontier. So we have uh, our lending and investment license because of some of the things we do that involve people partying with their money. So the license and investment license has covered that. You can see the numbers. And then our office is here in Abuja, number $15, Christian, Wilson's on five. The online telecom service, which is my wallet shop, that we are partnering to make sure that you benefit from the telecom sector is to admire with uh, Federal Minister of Trade and Investment. Other relevant documents and licenses and certificates that needs to be in place, we've done that. We've been in the telecom sector for the past eight years. And by God's grace, we are doing well. That's why we are here on the Zoom with you people. So let's go to my wallet shop. What is my wallet shop? I may not follow this, the, the slides here because it's a bit bulky, so I'm just trying to summarize because of our time. 
but I would, I would just explain what my wallet shop is in maybe just three forms. One, my wallet shop is simply an innovative e-commerce platform for VTU services. It's an e-commerce platform for VTU services. Once you understand my wallet shop in that way, that's what we do. We render VTU services, data services, um, TV subscription, and others. But majorly, we are a telecom VTU service platform provider. And so we can also say that my wallet shop is a VTU automated telecom trading system. What do we say automated? Few years ago, or some months back, if you are working on the street in Nigeria, you will see people under umbrellas selling recharge card, physical recharge card. Now, if you go outside there, you won't see them. So very few people are now benefiting from the VTOP of is the banks that are making this huge amount of money. Everybody that wants to buy airtime or data goes to his mobile app on the bank and he buys there and you don't get anything. So my wallet shop say, okay, you as a public health uh, practitioner, you can also have that same umbrella that somebody had it on the, on the street and was making money, but now you have it in a digital form, call an online VTU shop on my wallet shop. And we're going to explain later how it works. So it is a VTU automated um, a telecom trading system where the system trades for you. You also trade for yourself by participating in buy airtime and recharge card. And finally, we can say that my wallet shop is a community of telecom users. Few people fund this community or this platform, and the majority of the other people are buying from here. So the commission that is being made from people's patronage is redistributed among the community members. So once you become a community member, you either get commission according to your patronage, maybe how much you're buying airtime, data or pay cable TV subscription, or you are being, you are being rewarded for your, your financial commitment, which may be the shop you have that people will buy from your shop, the ETU, the VTU, and be rewarding you. So that is what my wallet shop is all about. So what are the benefits when you join my wallet shop? You have three benefits that stand on my wallet shop. I told you before, if you go into the market, you have those that have the shop, you have those that are just participating in buying it. And that is when you come to my wallet shop as a, as a, a public health practitioner, you are either having a shop or you are coming here just to be buying your airtime and be patronizing as a community member. So in such case, you get reward. What do you get a reward for? If you buy airtime, the system, patronize, the system rewards you. That same discount that the telecom is giving to the bank, that the bank are taking all. My wallet shop is saying that here we redistribute it. Once you buy airtime, 1,000 naira, 100 naira, 5,000 naira, 1 million naira, 100,000 naira. The discount is being shared. Part of the commission goes to the platform, and part of the commission instantly goes to you. And then if you say, okay, let me also help in contributing in funding this platform by having a shop so that the platform will be sell it to the community and give me my own 1% every seven days, then the system pays you according to how much you have funded your shop and you tell the system to convert it to VTU and sell to you. Now, we are saying that if you, if you participate here, you have some, some, some expenses that you run in your office. You pay NEPA bills, you pay uh, cable TV, you pay your staff salaries, you pay other things. That money, if you part with it, the whole money will go. But if you own a shop on my wallet shop, my wallet shop will be trading, selling the airtime for you and be giving you a commission. At the end of the six month pilot or one year case maybe, you still take your money, but the commission you have made from this VTU you sell, you've been able to run your office at a zero cost by paying your staff from the commission. You are not the one selling, the system is selling. Presently, we have about 2,600 uh, members of the community. We are starting a group, a, a re-promo by next week. And out of these 2,600, this is the third year we're running my wallet shop. Only 20% of these people that have shop. So the rest of the corporate organization, as well as individual and the high network customers buy from this 20%. So that's why my wallet shop is partnering with, um, with Ave, Ave HeadSense that if you become a member of my wallet shop or if you join this VG system and you participate in it, um, having a shop, you will right. also be your, you'll be running your office at a zero cost because my wallet shop will be taking care of that by selling from your shop. And then at the end of the cycle, 
If you want to take your money physically, fine. It's just by a click. If you want to take it back as airtime, fine. Because if your money is either in airtime, VTU, or it is in cash. So the, the second one is that can you can buy television. Can buy yeah, but the, the second one is that you can buy any mobile phone of your choice from my wallet shop and then pay from your commission. You know, sometimes you have need of phones in your shop, for, I mean, your office for your staff, or you want to go into the research just like the digit is doing. And you want to check some of the services like the combo basic we're going to talk about, and then you want to get more uh, phones. You can get it here on credit and then pay later from your commission. And the third one is the one we just introduced about two months, Two weeks, I mean, two days ago, the soft loan that if you have need of it, fine. If you don't have it, no problem. But we are here to say that, okay, when you participate here, yeah. so much that is running the telecom can be redistributed and you get your own um, benefit to run your office yeah. at a yeah. percent. Then we'll talk about the combo basic. What is the combo pack? The combo pack is simply a package from one of our partners, which is Nine Mobile, that enable you communicate within yourselves for free maybe with your staff that are communicating for free, or if you take this widget that they're introducing to you and you want to run your research, instead of buying airtime every time for your staff that are doing the research for you, the, my wallet shop will be running that expense for you while you'll be having free communication with the staff that are doing the research for you at no cost. And every month they have 1,000 Naira airtime as a free airtime that they will come outside the group. But when you're talking within the group, it's completely at a zero cost. So, and the charges on this is also very, very minimal. You have just seven Naira 50 Kobo per minute, and then text messages is two Naira 60 Kobo. So with these two packages, my wallet shop over platform is saying that this widget system will help you to run your research, to run your office at a zero cost, even including communication, it will be as a zero cost. Yours, you just fold your hands and you see things run for you as you join in participating in the VIGIT system. So we are encrypted with Flutterwave. We are also integ integrated in all banks. So when you are here, if it is funds you want to take, you don't need to suffer. Everything is user-friendly by a click. Whichever account you put, it will verify and give you instantly. And then we also have partners with the four major telecom, MTN, um, Airtel, Glo Glo, and the Nine Mobile. So it is not just about one telecom. Whichever way you're coming from, you meet us on the VG system and you participate and have a free communication as well as run your office on a zero cost and enjoy the flow. Thank you. If there's anything left, maybe during the question and answer time, we can treat some of the issues. Mr. Kenneth, thank you. Thank you, Joshua, uh, for that uh, wonderful presentation. We'll move on. Meanwhile, uh, there's a chat that we should provide our email details, name, uh, branch, and then a uh, phone number for, for us to know who and who have attended. So I will now run through the project implementation cycle. So I say it's going to be six months. So what is going to happen during these six months? Now, before I say that, I said I just want to emphasize the fact that uh, for us to choose to practice in Nigeria, these issues. Uh, are issues we are saving on a daily basis. There's increased cost with the same salary. So salary has not changed, but the costs have increased. And uh, there's little hazard allowance. There's inadequate funds for project interventions. We have good ideas, but at any point in time, funds are not sufficient enough for this uh, to happen. And we have need for monitoring evaluation. There is huge need for supportive supervision. That is not happening in several places just because of security risks. Uh, and of course, these places are high risk. But for most of these security front areas, they have telecommunication marks that can give us information. Now, one other area is uh, we have Zoom. So there's no Zoom or communication allowance. So you can't go and fight for it anywhere. So the whole idea about the video system is to see what, how we can now uh, put in place a digital system. The presence I yeah. also talk about uh, or communicate. So it's in line with this that we say, look, when you are post conference activity, okay, when you are. At the next conference will not be okay. for what we have done. Now, what is the project assumption? We are assuming that increasing the circulation okay. of telecom for more public practitioners will improve and enhance, enhance the quality. Now, uh, there's this simple formula that I talk about technical know how. 
Okay, let me read this people. Okay, fine. So, please, can you simple... mute everybody so that we can yes, follow? Yes, I'm, I'm muting everybody now. So, there is a simple formula that talk about technical know-how and skills minus finance equals to frustration. So, when you know what to do, and you have the skills to do it, but there's no money to do it, definitely, definitely, if you don't have frustration immediately on a long term, it will happen. So it is on this basis I have this assumption that if we increase circulation of funds, these telecom funds among public professionals, one, there will be no issues of not having money to pay for Zoom. So Zoom will be paid for. So if there are activities requiring Zoom meetings, bam, individual would have paid for that such Zoom meetings. And of course, there will be excitement within uh, the system as we're actually doing what we are called to do. So the project, the project strategy plan is to have four weeks of Zoom meetings for trainings. So every Wednesday and Sunday, Wednesday for those who are available within the week, and Sunday for those who prefer weekend talk, happening by 8 p.m. We choose this time thinking that yes, we would have reached their homes and they're relaxed. Then we are going to also activate my wallet shop for at least five members per state. So we're going to have space state engagement and see the members who are willing uh, to participate in this process. It's optional, it's, it's uh, voluntary, it's not something that anybody is under any coercion to do. We're also going to conduct digital tool design training for interested states. This training can be done virtually or physically as the states decide. So if the state decide that, okay, fine, you want this type of training so that you can have uh, your KPIs converted to digital tools, that is fine. We're willing to do that as part of this project. We're also going to deploy the mini audio tele head for selected institutions. For institutions that are willing to now look at uh, what uh, Joshua have just talked about. For instance, you have a team of 10 people. These 10 people, if you ask them to communicate on a daily basis with you, they will spend a lot of money. But you have a close user group. It simply means that with a close user group, you have 10 of them linked together. They have communications address every month and they talk unlimited to each, uh, to each other. Which means with just 10,000, these individuals can talk all the time. By, such, by doing this, we are connecting to provide supportive supervision. We are connecting to be rich. So the guy in, uh, in uh, Abaji can call the friend, someone who is also practicing in Buari, and they communicate on the same platform because they have that. We just want to that. So that also help us. We're also going to deploy the VG system in selected states. Already there are some states that uh, have reached out on account of the presentation I made in Lori to see how we can uh, deploy this in, in, in such states. So the project cycle we, uh, is like this. So for the whole of May, we're going to run these trainings. We're going to answer questions. Our team is available on a daily basis to provide answers to your questions. They will now encourage states to, to sign up at least five members per state uh, from May to July uh, for those who are willing to have a test of what is, uh, this system is all about. We we'll now conduct digital training. So from May to October, we'll be conducting digital training as the need arise and as the request come in. We'll also be deploying the audio telemes, uh, telehead as the request comes in. And of course, the full complement of the VG system will be on the continuous basis uh, deployment. Then by end of uh, October, we'll now conduct the project evaluation in November. When we look at what has happened, uh, we evaluate the, the funds that have come into circulation within the system. We evaluate what uh, productivity does have manifested in the system. We'll write a report in December and then we'll make this presentation uh, of this report at our conference in, in Port Harcourt. So basically, what does it mean? What we are simply saying is that for any project you are, you are talking about, there will be NEPA bees, there will be communication need, there will be fuel, there will be office maintainers, of course, there will be need for Zoom. Now, all these funds, assume that your overhead cost is 10 is is 50,000 uh, per month. 50,000 times 12, that is 600,000. Now, in 12 months, whether you like it or not, that money is out of your system, and it will never come back. If you have kept the 600,000 in the bank, the 600,000 would have gone, and it will not come back. What we are saying is simply calculate this, take the amount of money that you have, and then own a shop on the platform of my wallet. So this estimate will now give you a value. So as the shop is trading, you are earning 1% commission on the value of that shop. Now you are using that money to service your project. You are using that money to pay for your airtime. 
you are using that money to pay for uh, for your for your communication for your Zoom. At the end of twelve months, these funds have serviced those those needs, and then you have your funds, the initial investment funds, intact. That practically means that you are operating your office on zero zero overhead costs. So when cost becomes important, when sustainability is viewed as being a matter of survival for your business, I believe you can create massive change. Now, most of the challenges with our project, be it uh, government sponsored project, be it NGO project, is financing. Once the project has ended, believe me, everybody scatters. And the person is, people are scattered because there is no uh, a social enterprise company or project where funds are aimed to sustain that project. Now, I want to make this point here. I want to emphasize it that technology does not reverse itself. I came into public health using basic tools to collect data. Today, if you are using paper to collect data, it means you are wasting a lot of time, you are wasting resources. But that's what we did when we started training. So technology will always come and we we'll take advantage of it if we, if we need to. So the video systems, first and foremost, takes away the paper-based form of our work. So whatever tool you have, what to help complex the tool is, our team is available to convert that tool to a digital platform, no matter how complex the tool is. Name it, we're available to do that. So first, we eliminate a paper-based tool. Now, because we are digitalizing, we can build in validation shape so that wherever data is collected, you have GPS coordinates and nobody can go and sit under a tree and give you data. I also have systems that are built into this because our systems are digitalized. Now, what that means is that we cannot have our, our feed-based monitoring based on the KPIs. Now, it simply works like that. Now, for all deploying the system, we have dashboard. So this dashboard can be anchored in the office of the supervisor or the team leader, or it can be simply in the cloud. And that helps the team leader monitor the project on a daily basis. Now, supporting supervision can happen with the closure group that is coming with the combo, uh, uh, combo pack basic that has been described. And that helps us to do that. And then our team is here to provide technical support for 24, uh, 24 months. So on a daily basis, the same weekends, we are available to provide technical support. Now, mind you, we have both physical team and virtual team. We have virtual team within the country. We have virtual uh, assistants across uh, the globe. Some live in the US, some are with us here, some are uh, in other locations. They're helping us with this. So we can always provide this service for you. <laughs> the benefits of digital are enormous. First, you have data that is accurate. A second, it gives you unlimited connectivity that you can actually do that. And of course, the critical thing here, it offers you a low cost of operation and communication. And it helps us see that our projects are well managed because resources are coming within the system. So what are the project uh, risks to limitations? Now, there's nothing that you do that is 100% proof, but we have looked at the risks involved in this project. The first one is changing government policy on the use of virtual top-up. I don't see this being reversed because uh, already the paper, uh, the justification of paper was the fact that it was increasing cost of production and it was not uh, biodegradable. So government may not likely reverse its position or use of virtual top -up. Another thing that may affect the project is alteration of the telecom value chain incentives for VTU. Uh, during, the, during COVID, uh, the, the telecom industry made a lot of money. And of course, as COVID is over, the uh, likely other challenges that they may face. So, there could be that incentives may change. So if there's any changes, yes, the system will also change. That is a, a major issue that uh, we also uh, look at. The telecom policy could also change on closed user group. Now, yes, closed user group are, are, are communication-based talk. Now, most of the telecom, because of the money they're making from data, most of them are focusing on data now. So if there's a particular uh, company say, okay, they're not going to invest their resources in closed user group, then that will also affect uh, our system. There's no limitation of network coverage by telecom uh, industry. We know that the telecom uh, coverage for most of the companies is not 100% in locations. But what we have done with this is that each time we are going to deploy this uh, tele, uh, telehead model, we actually do an audit, an assessment of the coverage for that location so that we don't find ourselves using a particular platform that is not, uh, is not uh, appropriate for that location. Lastly, there is increasing cost of Android phones and uh, uh, dashboard accessories. 
So most of what we are going to do digitally will require use of Android phones. And on a daily basis, as the cost of dollar uh, increases, the cost of these phones are also increasing. So these are the risks that are associated with the project that we plan to implement. So uh, what are the strategic resource, uh, resources that we can use? Yes, philanthropists can support the digitalization process. So someone can say, okay, you know what, for this state, I can support this. And most of us have contact with such people that you can say, look, can we support the use of this platform for a particular state or for a group of uh, primary care facilities? We can also have budget allocation for states, uh, which is uh, difficult, but some states are willing to do something innovative at this time. International donors are also open to discussions around digitalization because they know that this uh, enhanced quality of work. Uh, we we'll also get donations of device from manufacturers and distributors. We'll get that they are cheaper for us. Uh, Joseph was just talking about the system they have with uh, Nine Mobile and uh, the partnership with uh, phone industry. So with them, we can actually get phone at highly discounted wholesale price around that. Of course, we have health insurance systems in the states that uh, could be willing to do this. Before I run that, I just want to say that, well, subscription, this is the action plan. The action plan is for us to have five public health physicians per state who will subscribe as early adapters. Now, this means that they are voluntarily taking the decision, no coercion at all. Uh, and of course, once they decide to do that, it means they are provided consent. We also uh, encourage public health boards to use this as audio telehealth and mentoring system. They will not scale up the model through cycle of uh, influence or what some people call responding driven sampling. Now, some people are already part of this process and they're here, they may want to share their experiences uh, when we finish doing the question and answer session. And of course, technology will never reverse itself. So we must reposition ourselves to see that we are making huge contribution with the industry. So the cycle of influence model is what we are proposing. And we are saying that, look, within each state, these five people participate in the shop, they make use of the shop, they use the system, and they, they also have the option of scaling up within uh, their domain. But then our indicator of performance will focus on this five, though they have the option of uh, uh, getting it uh, across other people, maybe family members or spouses or any other person. Now, of course, we know about the division of innovation theory. We talk about innovation. So as, as we progress, we may be the small group that are innovators, but we're expecting that we have early adapters who will be the focus of this project so that I will make inroad into a telecom cash flow. We cannot have the early majority join us and they will span what happens within the sector. This is the project code. Uh, it will be shared in the, in the chat box. Uh, the link will also be shared by our support team here in the chat box for those who are willing to sign up, there is a link and you have a look at it. In conclusion, I want to say that once social enterprise have a diverse and stable set of income streams, they are better place to have greater social impact. That is what Dan Zastuini has actually said. So the VG system is giving us opportunity to have this innovative system that moving funds from uh, the telecom and it brings it into a public practice and we'll see that we can use that. This is our support team, Stephanie is there, to support 24 seven, she's always uh, available. And of course, that is an IT expert. On that note, I want to thank you very much. And uh, we can now take uh, questions and commitment and uh, we're here. After that, I will simply do a demo of uh, how the system work at the back end. I will show us that. So thank you very much. President sir, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Kenneth, for that beautiful presentation. You are, you are turning me to a moderator already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. Uh, but, uh, well, I don't know. Is it maybe comments or questions? But I want to start it off. Uh, let's just take the, uh, the comments and uh, session first, at least, uh, uh, on commitments. Okay, uh, uh, as so Lawa has raised up her hand. Lawa, please, you can go on. Who is Lawa? I'm sorry, Dr. La. Loret La. No, before Dr. Loret La. Hello? Hello, sir, go ahead. Yeah, I want to say that the, uh, what is the next item in the agenda? His questions and answers, then after that, I will do a demo. That's we we'll round up. Okay, what of, no, why, why, what of the uh, sharing experience? It's not part of the agenda? 
So that the question and commitment session is the sharing experience. So it can be part of that. We are people here okay. who are also part of the process. Uh, okay. Want to talk fine, about fine. Uh, so let me just speak on that. Let me just speak on that before Dr. Lau will come on board. I want to speak from APHPN angle. From the APHPN angle. Go ahead, sir. After I learning. Yes. Can you hear me? Go ahead, sir. Good. After I learning, we actually opened the uh, two shops for, with APHPN National. We have a secretarial staff and a meet staff in Abuja that were paying uh, 50,000 Naira. But I'm glad to inform that right now, from what we are getting from the two shops, we'll be able to pay that staff without, uh, without dipping hands into the pulse of the association. So what, I, what the point I'm trying to make is that APHPN National has two shops and we're actually running our secretariat now in terms of paying our admin staff at zero cost. Thank you, over. Dr. La, Dr. Yes. Lorette. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. And everyone. Your hands is off. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Good evening, sir. And thank you very much for this uh, innovative presentation. Honestly, I found it very interesting. Now, my own is more of a comment and thinking forward. So I'm wondering, you know, as public health physicians, most of us use a lot of software and the way research is going. The people that are doing, you know, qualitative research, quantitative research, and maybe for those of us, maybe speaking from my own point of view, that are very interested in qualitative research, we realize that the software is not very accessible and affordable. So I'm wondering, for example, if I want to do qualitative research analysis using Enrico software, unless maybe I'm part of a project, I have the license, it's very difficult. The trials are just a few days. I'm wondering if as an association, we can begin to think forward and see maybe in the medium or long term where we can use this sort of CUG to be able to purchase and have access to such software, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is, that is noted. We'll, we'll look at those options in our plan strategies as we deploy digital systems. I will personally get in touch with you. I will discuss this further. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Any other comments? Yakuba, are there any questions? Andrew B. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. I'm listening. Any question from oh, you? Just um, no question, but I, I just um, just in line with what the national president has said. Um, I I opened the shop to, at Elorin, and um, all that uh, the presenter talked about in terms of uh, the the benefits from that particular platform have been having that in the past two months. Um, in relation to APHP and Edo State, uh, we had rising for an ex committee we had uh, two weeks ago, we have given approval to open a shop for the state. And um, that would help us also address some running costs uh, at no additional cost in terms of dipping into the funds of the association. So I think it's something that other states should also look into. And beyond APHPN at an individual level, it's a good way of um, um, making savings and also not depleting your capital base. So I think it's a welcome development. I want to use the opportunity to sincerely appreciate the organizers of this particular session for a job well done. That people, other persons should also key into it. Thank you. Over. All right, thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much. So if there's no other comment, I just want three people to send in their- I, my, oh, God, can I, my, my hand is up, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Aponsus, go ahead. Yes, sir, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you uh, to you and your team. 
for the presentation, I just want to ask a simple question. What yeah. is the minimal amount of money required to purchase a shop for an individual? Okay, so the minimum amount to have a shop, the it only takes you 1,000 naira to sign up into this platform, just 1,000 naira. Now the minimum amount to own a shop is just 25,000. So when I'm doing the demo, I'll go to the portal and show what is on the portal and how that happens. Uh, so I will answer this question with the demo that I'm going to do now. Any other question, whose answer is up? If your hands is up, please speak. Okay, so let please me go, go to, to the demo. Okay, so let me go to a demo. Uh, I'm going to, to share the screen now and do a demo. Meanwhile, I need three people who will send in the, the their, their phone number. Their phone number with network. Just send us your phone number with network, the network. So I'm going to go in the screen. Okay, so I'm sharing this my to the internet right. So can you see the screen now? Oh sure, yeah. This is my go wallet share portal. Uh, this is what you, you you go to the portal. Now someone was just asking about the minimum amount of money. This category starting with twenty five thousand. The shop for $25,000, a uh, shop for $50,000. Each of them get a commission of 1% weekly. Uh, there's a shop of $100,000, a shop of $250,000. You do this based on your capacity. And if you have a lower shop, when you want to upgrade, you can actually upgrade uh, by bringing in the difference. So, for instance, you have a $25,000 shop, you want to move to $100,000, you simply need to add $75,000, and you have a shop that is now operating at that. And this is the commission you get. If you have a $500,000 shop, you want to move to one million again, you just add a difference and stuff. So you are no other compulsion to start with any uh, level of shop. You can sign up and uh, be using the airtime time and uh, not even own a shop. If you want to own a shop, this is the value that you do. So let me log into the account that is created for this particular purpose. Uh, I'm going to log into the shop I created that uh, we're going to run the project with. It will cost us some funds, in terms of travel, if uh, there's need for travel, in terms of uh, Zoom, uh, paid Zoom communication. So what we did so with 1 million, you look at shop history. Uh, it was after the conference that we created this shop on uh, March, uh, on March uh, 29th. So we started with 25,000. Uh, and then along the line, we got some funds coming. And then April 6th, we added uh, 975,000. Now the platform is designed in such a way that you can only move 500,000 at a time. So you can do that and you can do it. So this is what happens here. So we now have a million naira shop. So you see, we have 29,000 for our Zoom calls for three months. Meanwhile, the money that is here is intact. We we'll also make commissions that in the virtual wallet, which we can buy eight times with. So I'm going to now demonstrate by buying eight times for these numbers that are available. Uh, look at what is here. We have a commission. The last digit of the commission is 75 naira. So if I buy a time of 500, a time of 500, 2% of it is 10 error. So after buying, the bank gets each time we go ahead, replicate what the bank has here. There's a number 0, 070, 070, 3, 8, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 0. It's an NTM number. Are you sure this is not more? Okay. So 0703, uh, 8332320. So it's an MTM line. I simply come in here. And say we are buying 500 naira worth of eight time on this number. So I don't need to be where you are. When we are deploying the telehead phones with one coming up here, the system will ask money here and I have money here. So I simply click on the virtual wallet and then pay. The owner of this number we we simply get the, the alert of this. So yes, transaction was successful. So if you are the, uh, the owner of this number, it means that in the next 30 seconds you have. Uh, five, 500. The point is that with this, they have removed the 500. Two percent of 500 is 10 naira. 10 naira has been added to the commission, moving it from 75 naira, 75 naira to 85 naira. I have a second number here that's also available. Again, this one is a different network. Airtime, 
uh, what uh, the same amount of money, 0705862 So it's actually uh, a glow number. So we're paying glow here and then the same 500 naira worth of air time. Now, if there's network with this problem, the air time will not go. But at any point in time, network once network is restored, the funds are released. So we are doing this now for the glow line. If there's no network issue, again, it will not go freely with that line. And of course, the owner of the line, please let us know uh, in the chat, or maybe again, that the system has deducted 100, which is then has been added to this to be 95. Now do the last one, and then we can take kind of this session for those who want 03 uh, please, can you? We have done MTN and Glow. Can you do a network that is so not these MTN? Are the, and these, these are the numbers given to number and uh, it goes work that is available. We just round up. We're just doing this as a from here. So, simply because we have created and it's this system. So, if we put in Lagos, Port Harcourt, or centrally with resources conserved, again, 10 naira has been added to this. And you've seen that from 95 has become 506. On that note, I want to thank you very much. For those who have uh, seen, you are supposed to have seen. Yes, time for the airtime. Colonies, oh, Colonies, you that got this. Okay, time for the airtime, Colonies. Uh, I, Francis, I just got the airtime of 500. Uh, who else is there? So thank you very much. You can take final comments and then run up. Any comments? Okay, our special guest, thank you very much. Uh, we've taken- uh, Thank you. Yes. So have a wonderful time. We'll look for, forward to those who- Oh, want we to can round up the meeting now. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Huh? The last person that got the research card should confirm before we round up this meeting. <laughs> so the next meeting is on Sunday by 8 p.m. Can you tell your colleagues in, in different states, and uh, if you have more questions to ask to ask us, uh, we are willing to also address them. So the essence of these meetings is to create awareness, to provide information, to do this demonstration and answer your questions. Participation in the process is voluntary. Uh, nobody is by compulsion. You can go to the website, study the website, post in the website link, uh, study the website. You can reach to us privately, uh, or you can sign up and get us uh, to know that this is what you've done. We are willing to support. Uh, we have a technical team that supports throughout the system. So thank you very much. If, there, if there's no other comments. Hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Um, Dr. Kene, thank you very much for the wonderful presentation as usual. Um, the, I thought you also talk about uh, institutional wallet, which uh, can actually make uh, okay, people so get for this, significant. For, okay, so for uh, these sessions, for these sessions, we are not looking at those other options. We are just looking at the VG system that we have created. So that is okay. why we are focusing this presentation on the VG system created. Thank you very All much. Right. Sir. Thank you. Any other question? If there's none, thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. Uh, you can unmute now and then we we'll just greet ourselves and enjoy ourselves. Thank, thank you very you, much. Sir. Sir. Good night from much, Calabar. Sir. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.